dude, you look like butts right now. Yeah, I heard you were super sick today. I actually skipped class to come and visit you. Nah, it's not a big deal. Well, geez, I didn't want you to die or anything. And plus, school's for nerds anyway. I brought you a couple things, though. You know, just some general sick people supplies. Let's see. Um, I got a whole bunch of stuff that will probably help you out a little bit. What? Oh, don't worry about the price. No, I wanted to do this because I wanted to help you. I have my own free will, you know. It's not like you're mind controlling me or something. I just wanted you to not be sick. Because you'll spread it to me and I don't want that. And of course I care about you. So yeah, got a couple things. What? You're the one that's bedridden and sick, okay? Worry about yourself. Seriously, you don't have to worry about me. I did this because I wanted to, alright? I wouldn't have done it if I didn't want to. Plus, anything that's left over, I can use in case you spread your sickness to me. I got some Alka-Seltzer. Like these tablet thingies. And they make a really cool fizzy sound when you put them in water. And also they help with the aches and pains. Which you're probably having, aren't you? Yeah, you're really burning up. Gosh. You really aren't faking, are you? For a couple minutes I was thinking, maybe you're just faking to get out of class, but... Pretty sure it's the real deal. Well, that sucks because you're stuck in bed and you can't even do anything fun. Oh yeah, um, while you were sleeping I made a blanket fort around your bed. Don't laugh. It took me a lot of hard work. Plus it's super cozy. Did you sleep well so far? Probably not, right? It's hard to sleep when you feel so crappy like that. This smells like bathroom cleaner. Don't worry. You still have to drink it. I have a cup of water here. I'm just gonna stick it right in. Yes, I put it in a mug. A very cute mug to make you feel more cozy and maybe take away from your misery a little bit. That's quite a nice sound. There's fizz everywhere. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. oh. I think it's finally stopping. Okay. That means it's time for you to drink up. I came here to take care of you and I'm gonna do it. And you have to cooperate, obviously. Hey, I hope you appreciate this because, like, I never had anyone to take care of me when I was sick. So, I wanted to make sure that you are nice and comfy and you feel like everything's gonna be okay. 
but this is the least fun part because it doesn't actually taste that good, but here. Good. Hey, not half bad. You took that down really well. I guess you're pretty tough. Plus it's good to get that liquid in you since when people are sick they tend to lose a lot of water in their body. So it's really important to stay hydrated. What? It's not like I'm a nerd because I know about basic human survival, okay? Oh my god, you're snotting all over the place. Hold up, hold up. Here. Blow. Harder. You have to blow harder than that if you want to clear your sinuses or whatever. There you go. I can't believe I'm making you blow your nose. God. <laughs> You're like an actual baby. If I wasn't here, would you just be like snotting all over yourself? Oh my god. I'm here now, so you'll be alright. Oh, by the way, I'm making some soup for you right now. Yeah, when I let myself in, I just kind of use your stove. But when I was at the store, they didn't really have any good soup, and um, you're gonna be having alphabet soup today. What? Ugh, it's not like you're any better. You survive off of Lucky Charms and Dino Egg Oatmeal. Okay, we're both not that good at cooking, but I thought it would be nice to cook something for you so you didn't have to get up and like, be all miserable and stuff. Yeah, so you don't even have to move, I'll bring it right to you. Anyway. Hmm. Let me check your temperature. Let's see here. Okay, I have a thermometer. Yes, I bought the cutest one at the store. And yes, I did spend an extra five dollars making sure it was a cute one. Well, I thought it'd be more fun for you if if we did like cute stuff. I mean, you can probably get more use into this in the future too, right? Okay, so how does this work? Okay, it's on. Wait. Okay. I'm just gonna stick this right in your ear. Um, yep. So, that's like a million degrees. Rest in peace, my friend. Died by fire. You're gonna have to learn how to be cooler like me. I can teach you. I'm cool as a cucumber. I hate cucumbers. I'm cool as a pickle. Or something like that. By the way, I'm sleeping over tonight. Yep. You have no say in this. You can't take care of yourself on your own, so I kinda have to be here. Yep. So it's gonna be a fun sleepover. I think your soup's ready. I'll be right back. Stay right there. Don't move a muscle. Stay right there. Okay. Okay. Soup's ready. It's nice and hot. Ugh, I know that you already feel hot. But listen, you gotta sweat it out, okay? You need to eat food. You haven't eaten all day. Yeah, I know you haven't eaten all day because there's no empty wrappers on the floor or any dishes in the sink. Yeah, and I know this isn't like the most nutritious thing, but it's good to have something in your belly. Plus, you're already dehydrated and weak, so you gotta eat something. What? You want me to feed you? Ugh, you're such a baby. Okay. 
If you want to be a baby, then I'll treat you like one. All right. Here comes the airplane. Good. I guess that's an acceptable bite for you, even though you're a adult-sized baby. Want some more. You're such a dweeb. Ugh. Oh, also another thing I brought. Hot water bottle. You can hear the water inside. It's very it's got hot water inside and I made sure I got one with like a fluffy exterior so that you can put it on your achy parts and it'll make it feel better and also be warm and comfy at the same time. I find if they don't have anything soft over them it can be a bit too hot but this is perfect. You put it wherever, wherever you're most sore. It's very cozy. Here, I'll just put it right there behind your head. Just right above your shoulder. The warmth feels pretty good, doesn't it? It helps your muscles kind of relax and just relieve that pain a little bit. I hope so anyway. It helps me, but yeah. Um, I hope it helps anyway. Is any of this working? I'm doing my best. I want to be a good friend to you. I'm sorry that I'm not like really good at this, <laughs> but I just wanted to be here for my friend. Yeah. So I hope you feel a little more relaxed now. How do you feel? Oh, so just a sore throat now? That's good, I guess. I mean, not that you have a sore throat. That's not that good, but it's good that the other things helped. Yeah, it's totally therapeutic to be a whiny little idiot. It helps to have company when you're sick so you can just complain about your agony and all that stuff. But for real though, I'm glad I could spend this time with you. I hope you feel relaxed. Oh, actually I do have some lozenges if you want help with that sore throat. They taste pretty awful, and they're very strong, but trust me, they work like crazy. They numb your mouth entirely, and your throat. Do you want to try one? Mm -hmm. I have them right here. Are you afraid? You're not that bad. Oh, gosh. You've never had these super extra strength ones before? Okay, so you're gonna be a wimp. Fine, what if I take one first? And then I can prove to you that they're like safe for human consumption. And then you can have one after me. Okay. Let's 
see if I can get this open. Mm, got one. Little lozenge. See? Totally doable. You don't have to be afraid. They're cherry flavored. So, kind of takes away from the um, strong flavor and then numbing. But yeah, do you want one now? I swear it'll help you. You'll feel better. around in your mouth and let it dissolve slowly and each time you swallow your saliva it goes down your throat and it numbs the area so it's very numbing and cooling it'll relieve that fiery burning pain <laughs> and I have the rest of the pack here so each time you run out of some you just take another one bad. I knew it would help you. Seriously though, I know this is really hard for you. And you're gonna get through it, right? Being sick really sucks, but you're gonna get through this just like every other time you got through something really hard. You're like the strongest person I know. Seriously. You are really tough. You're gonna get through this. You're super tough. I hope I've been helping you. Sorry if it's annoying or anything. I just really care about you and I don't want you to be sick. I'm glad that this is helping you a little bit at least. It's gonna be okay. Hey, do you want to take a nap? You must rest your body. Rest, 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 rest. I have a really fluffy blanket that I brought. Do you want to see? It's super fluffy and soft and feels really good up against your skin like this. And you can just half cover if you feel too hot. And you can always cover up all the way whenever you get cold again. I know that it kind of bounces back and forth between hot and cold sometimes. It's gonna be okay. There and there. rest your body. It's gonna be okay. in the world and all the bad flu virusy things trying to eat you oh and one more thing I brought us a cuddle buddy yes this will be our friend for tonight he's very good at cuddles and he makes a very good pillow too I'll just put that over there. 
sitting right next to you. Alright, let's get to sleeping. I'll race you to dreamland. You're right, that was lame. Anyway, let's go to sleep. I'll be here when you wake up, okay? I'm not leaving until you get better. Okay. Good night. <laughs>